You're predicting the end of the world for... September. Right. So do you want to take us through... In Matthew 24, verse 21, it says, And then there will be great tribulation such as this world has never known nor ever shall know. In other words, it's the end. The evidence in the Bible points to the fact that September 6th, of 1994 will be the last day of the final tribulation period. Kemping has a daily TV show of Bible discussion on which he occasionally has guests and his radio stations broadcast to millions around the world. Here we go again. Judgment Day is at hand according to a Christian radio preacher in California. The last time Kemping predicted Armageddon in 1994 and nothing happened. He says this time his calculations of biblical dates and the Hebrew calendar have got it right. If 90-year-old Harold Camping's Bible-based calculations are correct, you shouldn't be making any plans past Saturday, May 21st. On May 21, there's going to be a terrific earthquake, way, way greater than anything that the earth has ever experienced, and that'll be the beginning of Judgment Day. Camping's followers are spreading the word. Some have quit jobs or school to prepare for the end. Camping believes that only a tiny percentage of humanity will be swept up to heaven on Saturday. As for the rest of us, well, I'll see you in hell. We have no plan B. It is going to happen. Today is Judgment Day. This is the last day God will save you. Robert Fitzpatrick. He took almost all of his life savings, $140,000, to have 3,000 posters put up in New York City subways and bus stops. I'm not going to tell you I'm down to my last penny, but you know, it's a good chunk of what I had saved up, sure. Does it matter if you're down to your last penny, if the doomsday is coming? No, it doesn't. I feel as if I've been drafted. If it does not happen, what will that mean? I wouldn't entertain that question. You're confident. That's what I read in the Bible. understand what has happened, right? There is no visible sign. Wait a minute. So lady here who wants her money back, she said. I pay a lot of money for that trip, but I'm still here. I want my money back. She paid the money for the trip. You didn't give me any money. I spent my own money. No. I had no I, contributions. I gave you my money. Oh, no, you didn't give me any money. Oh. Hello. Hello. Are y'all giving back any refunds for those who... I never collected any money. It was all no. my money that I spent. No, but, but I know, but um, being that... You say the world was coming to an end. I didn't pay this much rent because I really thought God was going to come back on May 21st. And I gave a lot to the homeless people trying to prepare for this day. And well, I'm sorry I can't help you. You guys spent a lot more than you did, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. What's that? Pretty excited. A little let down. I went on a spending spree. Went out. Partied hard last night. Didn't work out. Now I got to go get a Get a few more hours of work. All Four minutes! Three minutes to lift off. Five, four, nine, two, one! Hold it, hold it! No, we're not surprised at all. It's, it's an interesting uh, situation because we do believe there will be a rapture. I mean, all these things are in the Bible, but it's also very clear that no one knows the day and the hour. So when someone comes out and says they know the day and the hour, we, we know it's false. And, uh, but that doesn't stop people. I mean, this isn't the first time this has happened. People get fooled all the time. I think this is a spectacle, and I want it to be a part of it, and I want to see it, and I want to enjoy it. But in case something happens, then I have brought my toothbrush because I don't know how long this rapture is going to last. Give me a day. No, no interviews at all today. But I'm wondering how you feel today about the, uh, your prediction. Well, I'm bewildered. I'm very bewildered, and that's all I can say right now. It will be May 21. The build-up, the faith. May 22nd for the true believer in the Lord Jesus Christ will not occur. And for some, a life-crushing disappointment. 
May 21st came and went. Nothing. Now, two days later, Harold Camping is finally breaking his silence. On his radio show from his Oakland, California studio, Camping spoke about his Judgment Day prediction. It's an invisible Judgment Day. So now what? Wait for it? Literally. He says it's October 21st. And uh, at that time, the whole world will be destroyed. A new prediction five months from now. Uh, uh, why didn't the rapture happen on May 21st? Don't cut me off yet. And why do you believe so much on it's going to happen another five months? You're, you're really pathetic. You know, I wasted all my money and I sent it to you and I, now I don't have nothing. I was putting my hopes in you. You understand? I, I, I wish I could see you face to face. I'd smack you right in the... What say you now? Calling names doesn't help anything. Uh, the graves of the unsaved dead will be ripped open. There'll be corpses all around. And that people will be dying either in the earthquake or continuously afterwards until the earth is destroyed on October 21. On this program, I want to discuss the timing of World War III. That is, when will Barack Obama provoke Russia into attacking the United States? He will also be the last elected president of the United States. World War III will begin long before we ever see the year 2012. You need to prepare for World War III now, because it will occur within the next 20 months. That is, sometime between 2009 and 2010, if we can determine the date that Israel became a nation and add one generation's time to that, and when you subtract seven years of tribulation from that date, you get November 29th, 2010 as the date for World War III. Now, as we know from a previous video of mine, Armageddon occurs between October 13th and November 29th of the year 2017. And seven years before that, is World War III. And as we know from events this week, World War III began on November 23rd. With World War III beginning on November 23rd, I'm not surprised because that is an evil number. I have been looking for such an evil number. 11, of course, is a homosexual number, as I have explained in other videos. 23 is an evil number also, because 2 is placed before 3. Two signifies man, three signifies God. December 21st, 2012, the end of the Mayan calendar drawn up by an ancient civilization thousands of years ago. In France, true believers flocked to a peak in the Pyrenees Mountains, believing it was the only place in the world that was safe. All right, here we are in Times Square, the place where humanity rings in New Year's to find out if it's our final year, our last few moments on Earth. ABC News has trusted me with this assignment, the potential scoop of all scoops. Not that anyone's going to be around to hand out any promotions, but the hour draws near. The moment of truth is here. There's the clock. Three, two, one. Okay, there you have it. Folks, we are still here. John Muller reporting exclusively for ABC News. The end of the world has not happened. We are still here. I am the second coming of Jesus, the high priest. Like his forebear, Jensen has 12 apostles. After the apocalypse, these people expect to be governing the world. The destruction of New York City is only about four or five days away. First bombs will come from uh, Saddam Hussein. You, sh are you sure? 390 days from the bombing of the Trade Towers in New York, according to the fourth chapter of Ezekiel, will be the full-scale destruction of New York City. For sure. That's unbelievable. This will be followed by a meteor hitting the Earth. At the time of taping, the world had not yet ended. But when I called Dr. Jensen's group on the day New York was supposed to be bombed, they didn't seem discouraged. Hey, Neil, it's Louis. How are you doing? Where are you calling from, Louis? From New York. I just wanted to check in with you. It doesn't seem to be a whole lot going on, so I just wanted to double check. Yes? Yeah. You know, about the, the bomb and so forth. I've been looking for the waves of destruction, and, and I, I can't seem to find any of them. Yeah, well, I've been waiting seven years that I've been in the faith, and you've only been waiting a few days. You can wait a little longer. 
Did anything strange or unusual happen to you today? You know, anything like, oh, total death and destruction, havoc week, the end of the world, that sort of thing. Well, today's the day that all that was supposed to happen. March 10th is the day when all the planets of the solar system are on one side of the sun. Now, without going into all the detail, that rough alignment is supposed to cause the end of the world and such, the famed Jupiter effect. So we checked with various authorities in the Fargo area and people in the know to find out if anything happened in our area today. Police Chief Edwin Anderson said nothing was happening, no earthquakes, no death or destruction. Cass County Disaster Emergency Services Coordinator Gordon Sletmo said all was quiet his way. He's catching up on some paperwork today. It's a routine day as far as we're concerned here. We have never had any, any type of call for any assistance or anything. It just might be possible that this day of disasters eluded the proper authorities. So we went straight to the people to find out if they experienced the Jupiter effect. I don't believe so. The weather's a little bit hazy and foggy. That's about all. You haven't seen any massive death or destruction or earthquakes no, or California? nothing like that. I hope we don't.